This has always been a place where people can come for help. And we have always been there for people with lupus. I was 15 when I was diagnosed. I had severe pain to the point I was having seizure-like activity. I had migraines for five years straight. I had multiple spinal taps. I was treated with chemotherapy and steroids. No one knew what to do. No one knew how to help her. No one was sure what she had. It went on for quite some time before they could diagnose her. And it's frustrating. My Aunt Fern and Uncle Leonard got involved, and the two of them became very passionate about raising money for research. For this to be her life was just, you know, it's heartbreaking, and we really felt, heartbreaking. And we felt we needed to do something. And since we're not research scientists, what we can do is raise money to help fund research. Which is incredibly important and brings us closer to a cure. My daughter's the same age as Jillian. This is her cousin, she loves her. What could she do? She was 15. So she found a way to create a fashion show and they sent kids and their families to Camp Sunshine for three years. It was phenomenal. I was sick for three and a half months. I couldn't go to school. She had fever of 104.3. And then they came back and tell me, lupus. I'm saying, what's that? I had to go to the hospital a lot to get infusions. I had to go through kidney biopsy. I was in denial till I went to Camp Sunshine. I really didn't know that there was that many people with lupus and going through the same things I did. So it was a good experience for me. This foundation has been a tremendous leader in outreach to families and patients with lupus because it was founded by families. I was 15 when I was diagnosed. I was 12. It was really kind of surreal, especially when we went to the doctors and Everybody kind of looked at us as like an oddity, I guess, because it was so unique. I was like eight when Brittany got diagnosed. I didn't understand it at all. I was actually jealous that she got to stay home from school. <laughs> and then when Ashley was diagnosed, I can tell my mom, like, she wants to take that, that burden off them, and it's frustrating for her. Like, I want to take that burden off them, and I, like, sometimes I, I like, I want to be sick for them. <laughs> Sorry. I have had to get um, blood transfusions pretty frequently in the past year. It affected her lungs, it affected her heart, and it affected her kidneys. I realized that it's a part of my life, and it was something that I wanted to be an advocate of. It gives her a purpose to help with the organization. I'm learning more about the disease. I'm helping to spread awareness of it, and I feel like that's ultimately helping to find the cure. The past decade has really seen great progress in the fundamentals behind this disease. We've really made inroads in discovering. History has borne out again and again that some of the most important medical discoveries have come from people just digging really deep into a particular problem. The beauty with the LRI is that you don't have to be the person that takes it all the way. From doing the really basic research at the bench, the LRI kind of trusts that that work will eventually find a home in the clinic. That actually is probably the most innovative thing that they do because really just understanding these basic mechanisms of how the immune system works are going to have payoffs. If we can identify the specific pathway to target, we can make our therapies much more limited in terms of which aspects of the immune system they shut down. And the hope would be that by targeting these very specific pathways, we end up with drugs that have increased efficacy and are less likely to leave our patients immunosuppressed. From the very beginning, the LRI has wanted to do what the private sector can do best, and that's take some risks. We got into it originally because we were interested in trying to understand how a set of receptors on, on cell surfaces work. So I actually came into lupus research from a completely different area of science. We started to discover that these receptors play a critical role in the regulation of the immune response. And that's when Greg and I thought that we had to invest our efforts to try to understand how these receptors regulated the innate immune response. We really had just made the discoveries, but we didn't have any big research funding for this. So I have to say that the LRI was actually essential 
to keeping the project going in its, in its early stages. What's really exciting about the past decade, uh, the pivotal discoveries in lupus, but also that industry, the pharmaceutical and biotech industries are coming to lupus for the first time, and successfully so. EMD Serono has made immunology a clear focus of its strategy, and lupus is one of the centerpieces. I think it's important to invest in an organization such as the LRI because we're in the knowledge business. And the LRI is providing great opportunities to build knowledge, both for industry, for academia, even for patients. The biggest step that we're now taking is pushing that decade of innovation and driving for the most brilliant minds in the world. The first million dollar grants in lupus research were given by the LRI this year. It's our Distinguished Innovators Award, and it's pushing innovation to the next level. My hope for lupus patients is that one day we'll be in a position to treat patients on a personalized basis, that we give the right medicine to the right patient at the right time. My interest is that they find a way to diagnose this illness, and they find a cure. And the only way they can do that is through research. They are the ones that are doing the great, unique research 